projection of popcorn microwavable tin happens in bulk form of Ballyhoo retinue. <laughs> what it does? Was initially mismanaged in local seaters and canned all over New England. In rotary clad trilateral cattle herded intersection, particular to practical infrastructural monotheistically <laughs> oh, 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 oh. micromaniacally and so forth and so on. Hmm. And um, in other words, the cloth girded heifers. <laughs> You don't want cloth bearded hyphens. Cloth girded hyphens. They have, you know, a blur. Animals are becoming adapted to clothing the section, so direction. Yes, not the, now you won't. Okay, clap, clap. I didn't say anything inappropriate. <laughs> so. So we the cloth girded hyphens. Not getting loose from the fenced in pastures, but usually following ships or prey rabbi time. <laughs> Would find themselves crossing the streets. Avenues at the bug down Balamaj, Boulevards, watch to the station by their farm lords, diplomat owners. <laughs> and um, so that at the local rotaries in Sutton. <laughs> oh, initially for high quality traffic diarrhea fluation, cohabitation, elasticized musk fluss, always remained automotively uncorrosive. <laughs> get away, get away, I told you to get away. You get so far to me. Well, okay. Popcorn. Microwaving was initially triadically readaptable to the high tech of layers of reusage of toiletry agents. Toilet paper and microwave bags were interconnected triadically, infrastructurally, and historically uh, speaking, and every other possible uh, bill in Bagatelle. The uh, restaurantinos even adapted this process of of re recycling. Oh, <laughs> and we all know it's true. We've been there. But no, we have. Oh, it's possible. There and with the new age there within. So to begin, a consistent line of parallel potluck backtrack geometry. That's the uncle, four wheel buzzers, fickle flow, 
between Intel, the, the barbell, the toilet paper, refrigerator, popcorn bag, which red flag uh, psychodramatically leaves in Houston, Texas. It's synthetically a popular adaptable pineapple shaped uh, vampire cake. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be investigating. I mean, investigating. I mean, I mean, really. If you hurt anybody, I will investigate you. Yes, you. You, you, you know who. Ah, I see investigates. I see investigates. Inspector. Inspector Gargoyle is here. These investigates. The, 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 the crooked toothpick and nickel a knuckle a backle it's like a summer it's a hole it's a back 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 in the land no oh no you do stop stop that get away damn hmm that was the first and, and uh, now we have another force Flux of the fickle and the pickle. So we had started here, here. Now we have to remember that it's way past. Upcoming is July. July, the lie, the cry, and the sigh. Of, of Pablo Madad. Uh, Batia, mm -hmm. Freya. What's that? Oh, no, 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 no. Birthday. Daisy May. Uh, <laughs> Nicholas McDowell, the cab driving tram, and his continuing adventures at physical rehab in the X ray lab. <laughs> now that the curbside Jack Singh, two sisters, twins, Henrietta Mick Livers and Betsy Lou Yandivoo, had written a tinge. The farm of financially interpreted Bill Cream Turtle Wax formation, a formation of Madame Max coconut juice. Ugh, oh, it has been smuggled, smuggled across the Canadian border by started sipping neo Gothic helicopter polishers who could sit still for as long as 17 hours in the night, seeing a proof sometimes. <laughs> I'm warning you, I'm coming. I'm trying to come find you. If you do anything wrong, I'm on my way. You should remember. We have the whole thing that's out. You do anything. You so much as Jaywalker, Jaywalker, the ship's ahoy, uh, plank it will come to you and will thank you for going away. Go away, go away. Here we are. And we're down to business and see. Smuggled across the Canadian border by soda sipping neo Gothic helicopter polishes. Who could sit still for as long as 17 hours in a zebra poop. Sometimes booth. Now that the city of Halifax. Who will do come up? Who is Halifax? And what's the stuff to do with anything? I'll tell you, I've found, quite by mistake, a 21 inch footstep. And found quite a 21 inch footstep somewhere along Bagatelle, Cranbapple, Beach, which is slightly out of reach of all commercial interest. In terms of overpopulation by twice yearly disaffected, Inspectors. They inseam, they inspect the inseam and they say, you need trousers of a certain month. Clip, 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 they come into the, that was the beginning. One of those men, uh, the footstep, the, the 21 inch footstep found, found at the beachfront. Yes, one of them actually found out that, that Mulligan McFreydis had committed 
in the forbidden as well. He has yet to be believed that Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy was critically applicable to modern-day uh, cray fishing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Actually, you believe that Leviticus was missed in its appropriate above. For example, who are you, Leviticus? You're a monster. Not that a monster, but you're a crumbster. You're a crumb breading, uh, unwedding lava of misinformation. And you're on, always on vacation in the Orthodox ritual section. Walmart, uh, kill, telescope, uh, uh, rope You're not even Islamic. You don't respect us. You don't respect Islam. Why not? Islamic is beautiful. Beauty is a form of spiritual. You know where this is going. You better be careful. You better be careful. I'm looking out and I'm spotting you everywhere. I see you walking down the street. I see you and I get you and I inspect you. Everything you like to start being plucked and filmed. <laughs> oh. Everybody's aware of what you're doing. Would you like it or not? Um, all the, cr the, the commercial interests intrinsically overpopulated by twice here. Oh, oh, oh. Parallel, released from paralegal triadic infrastructural readaptive pastoral wall of the canopies <laughs> with high level government connections. Oh, what does that tell you? Also dissuaded from launching a slightly stale plate of nominees. With King Charles, off of that mother Steven Spielberg, Soldenberg, and Pittsburgh, and South South gas stations. South South gas stations. You're up to no good. Now that the swine flu had mysteriously infected every single one of Hollywood's directors and tolerated by El Paso Studios. The entire state of Pennsylvania had secretly been serenading from the, from the theater wings. Nobody, nobody could stop them. Love proof. Ah. From the theater wings of Fire Wild Entertainment Section. Yeah, and Pennsylvania's the local helicopter pilots Paul and Russell I'm getting backflips and stop with the loops Don't let Paul drive the plane He's irresponsible He doesn't pick up his napkin at home And he always leaves the phone off the hook when Trying to... to <laughs> Who hadn't as yet remembered the sprinkle with jimmies and jelly beans scene of the of the creakle crime. And so, and so the 19 to 21 foot long footprint on the beach came to knock on. And he came to knock on. Inspector took the toes door. He said, I know. Who's responsible? And I will tell you. Hmm. I will tell you right now. It's there up to no good. Hmm. And why? Why would they be doing this? Why is the Vitticus and Deuteronomy relevant in any way to modern society? It's just Danny O'Brien's psychology. Yeah. Gentlemen, I told you to gentlemen. Oh, you bigot, you tribute, you bigot. 
you probably, probably want to watch a world with your vegan. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, she go to this is, now this is where we go to the door. She drops on the door. I said, it's a little inspector, inspector, trifector, director of the state away station from the embattery. Something very important to tell you. <laughs> Shocking. It'll amaze you. It'll make you say, get away. Cut, cut, cut. Will that get to do it? To wait, though. What does to get over here? Get away. She will not get you. They go down to the other way because shit. You know what I mean? So what should we do? What should we do? What are you? You're going to put you on the Apollo. What does every restaurant and what does every restaurant manager have to allow to happen when he takes a trip to the Apollo, up to the moon bloom? I already told you. If his name is Matt, he gets snipped. No, if his name is Skip, he gets snipped. No two ways about it. Skip gets snipped. And that's all there is to it. You can't do it. You understand. Well, and so they all pilots named Skip. You don't have to get snipped. They only help for you, you know, major leagues of uh, people who carry on family crest. <laughs> and he, he was applied by Elliot Nist. Who said, no more, no more, that's it. And me, it's... Oh, no, just sat here. Why? You see, it's the weekend where we want some wine. <laughs> Hmm. There's a link in the chain overtakes my steps. But the time it is low and tomorrow morning sun ain't up quite yet. Oh, oh, here we are. And I hang my hat upon the high smoky star. Put a kiss on your lips. Where are you? Slide these bones out the street side door. <laughs> When the time is right, it's driving rain. You're blessed with a bit of bad original bone when once you were came to the hospital with the wife. I never had <laughs> No, it never did. But the, the drum, the, uh, the, the big hook on uh, <laughs> the albinos from Wido did. They sure did have a far for all of this house. I'll tell you right now that the time of the evening is ripe. <laughs> oh, hi there. Well, yes. The time is ripe. <clears throat> oh, I don't know what that is for. I'm trying to tune the guitar, so go away. I just have to write to tune my own guitar. A tongue tuning, a blooming, a blooming. i tell you when the time of the evening is ripe. Put a puzzle of sack of bones by the door with a letter in his hand and the little shell sword off in his lap. Oh. I'll slide out back to grab me some shut eye by the guy. Brimstone flame, tear two wings, the twisted sky in the seagull bowl. <laughs> Said wild cat Jake, the tavern ball brawly. Round the curve from time before three. Society. Matty, Matthew Bryan is at it again, and she will not stop. But the shop shop shabum down the road from all toads, the guys crow. It's a road down the town by Bedlam Creek, it's a little toting with 30 odd shells in a sack of snow. Oh, ho! But Shimmy Shake Moses. We don't know who he is, Shimmy Shake Moses. Who is he? We don't know. He went to the show. What the and Peter and Peter and Peter and Paul. Peter and Paul. That's all. It's the law of the land. It's the law of the land. <laughs> The hell pond highway by sea, hill, a land, and he cracked those sides, a bellopied, a bellopied, 
and writhe. Over one day, he saw a fistful of knuckles from a sycamore tree close by, and it was time for me to hunt along the new train and get out of water. And through the base rift, the cobblestone curved and felt as struck wild. All across Boston, the birds came the verb, the verb, the very double, and the birds. My innermost secret cosmos of identities has friend to many, many times, carrying my half-formed self's intricate chains of pulsing keyboards across my room that's harmless. And who am I exactly, you might ask? I am the fire alarm you spill dry martinis all over me with from head to foot. <laughs> I am the shimmering diva in the mirror. <laughs> Wrapped around my little mist of quenched sea turtle eggs, reading Shakespeare's grocery list, and princely Siberian husky disco cisco, to one more twack or spillage of village, wedding gown fruitions, great, nice, and juicy from a laughing gas to the federal hill, traffic light. Uh, all night even into the body. I am these entities reaching out to you. Oh, with a hand extending friendship. Everlasting friendship. Now that the circles had that the cry historically, times past tense, the poor structural founding creature had dovetailed both ritual, ritual, and no longer necessary. Cultural counter intelligence, intuitive majesty, eluding higher ideals, subjective betterment of unpredictable people's places and things. Now that the illusions of sublimated reality is coupling what might have been alongside the switch of a key frame to back. I will spin the unseen writings of these intricate, non allegorical agencies of looseness, narration. A tale enumerated by the heavens with shooting stars to wish upon the gusto, the gusto of primal thunderclaps, inventing the place that sustains of my upheaval, mayhem, and the random plates of pestilence, with plague, and any and all other consequences of boundary, pilgrimage, and unfortunate colonizations, the fiction pillars, pillage, the matters of spiritual exchange, the totally throw. To the intimate woods of the native rights of indigenous. I don't like them. I don't just don't like them. We never did. We wish you would go. I'm climatically unafraid of the world landscape and ocean water before my wit will to leave the eyes with hell. Tell the reader of these unmasterable, tangible. Musings that things were seemingly better than they were. Ah. You, and you, and you. We don't mess around here. We don't fool around. We get down to business and we boogie. Boogie, boogie, boogie. So, so. Remember. You'll be back the soul of the bottle, and your sorrow, and your joy intertwine intricately and by dynamically. In the course of the girl, my granddaughter will be along, and she will sing many songs. I write the script, I write the script, the world. Oh, she didn't, I only saw her for a second. She will be in the movie, along with a multiple suit. Of characters that would preserve the politics of the